Gemma Tattersall, a gorgeous test on the lovely Santiago Bay. Are you pleased? Absolutely, chuffed to bits. Yeah, um, it's not her strong phase, and we've been working really hard this year to get her to understand it. Is um, she absolutely loves jumping? She's like a little pocket rocket, <laughs> and she gets her game face on, and she absolutely loves it. But dressage, she's just like, oh, what is the point in this? Um, so just work really hard on trying to persuade her that actually it's okay and it's quite it can be enjoyable and she's starting to get that and it showed in there because she was actually wanting to take me forward and um, you know she's got so much ability on in the dressage actually and I think one day she'll be able to be up there with the leaders um, you know if I can just carry on going in this in this way but honestly I can't tell you how chuffed I am. It shows from from ear to ear the smile. And you've enjoyed a lot of ERM success with her. Have you had to change her plan much coming towards here for the five star? Um, yeah, she's um, she's done a lot of swimming, <laughs> trying to get really, really fit. Um, I don't like to gallop her too much because um, we're trying to save her legs. Um, she's not a full blood horse. She's actually only a half blood horse, but in her mind, she's full blood. Um, she's so blood in her brain um, and, and is, is so... Um, so gritty and determined um, I haven't changed my plan hugely um, she hasn't done a huge amount of events this year because she's a cross-country machine I don't need to keep going out and going cross-country she actually um, does quite a lot of show jumping which she loves and I love um, and she's a fantastic jumper she goes out and wins 130s back to back she's just fantastic so that's really fun for me you know myself and the owner Caroline she loves the jumping as well so yeah we mix it up a bit with her and she's such a cross-country machine we don't need to waste her legs by running her loads yeah. she's done two um, foreign runs abroad and won both of them which were two four star shorts so <laughs> she's she's had pretty good run up to, yeah. up to this yeah, event yeah. <laughs> and you're out tomorrow first on the legendary arctic so planning on taking the same routes on both at the moment, yes, but obviously um, he's really experienced. Um, he knows his way around Burley. I'll probably just hold on for dear <laughs> life and <laughs> steer vaguely in yeah. the direction of the jumps. Um, so obviously it'll be really nice to have ridden him round to bring back some information for, you know, a inexperienced young horse at this level. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I'm sure everyone's going to be watching your crucial round tomorrow morning. So, <laughs> well, I certainly will for some tips. So best of luck. I'm going to go and have a strong gin now and then I'm going to walk the course. <laughs>